As the Russians would say, давай, 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 посмотрим, что будет. Товарищ человек. Let's see what is. Um, now, there's something that the Japanese have got right. Now, we think the, of the Japanese as pure technophiles. In which they are. They're spitting out all these amazing wonder gadgets. Um, I've not, not been to Japan. I would like to go. It's obviously too damn expensive. It would probably look at me like a degenerate there with all these tattoos. It would be Yakuza. Uh, or is it Yakuza? I think it's Yakuza, which I know are three letters in a card game, which if you get those three numbers in a card game, which you get those numbers means you're a loser. Um, there's an interesting characteristic to Japanese society. And um, part of it is Shinto. Part of it is Confucianism. Part of it is... Uh, Chinese Buddhism, the Japanese have no idea what original Buddhism is like because they have no connection to it. Um, early uh, Western the Chinese had very little connection to later secularized Buddhism. Anyway, that's beside the point. Why do you think the Japanese have such honor and respect for these old traditional ways? They will embrace the technology, but they also embrace... You know, the amazing thing is that uh, I'm an expert. I Actually, I'm almost certain that I'm the world's leading expert on a retroductive uh, logical analysis. It's an ancient lost art that helps me solve most problems. It's not abduction. It's not deduction. Uh, it's called retroduction. It's a lost art of discerning things. Now, all these freaky lenses... It's amazing if you actually go onto these Japanese uh, Flickr pages, um, some Chinese, but it's mostly Japanese. It's like, why is this person using a modern camera? And in, and in this way, I'm uh, exactly like, only in that characteristic, exactly like the Japanese people when it comes to photography. They embrace uh, perfection and the ineffable, the je ne sais quoi, of a item. It might be old and rusty, but uh, they honor it because it is unique. And uniqueness doesn't mean anything. There are plenty of unique turds out there, and nobody gives a damn about them. Uh, obviously, not meaning just lenses, but anything in general. It's like, that car is unique. It's like, yeah, it's unique because they stopped making it because it's a lemon. It is definitely unique. Uh, <laughs> But there's a lot of uh, Japanese uh, photographers out there using modern cameras with really old lenses. It's like, why are they doing that? You know, that camera is capable of amazing autofocus. Why do I see all these Japanese Flickr pages where these people are using freaky-deaky old 60-year-old lenses? Why? Maybe it's because, no, it's just traditionalism. No, maybe it's because they know something that you don't. They understand that there are two different technologies and they embrace perfection as it exists on its own accord. Um, there's actually a specific Japanese word for something that is imperfect but perfect in its imperfection. And um, photography has been overrun with... Uh, and the English are the most uh, uh, guilty of this. Yes, the British peeps out there. There's this thing where, uh, I forget what it was, they were tearing down in England, and they were, like, going to build something new and tacky, and the Queen of England came by, and she saw, I forget what it was in England, this is like 15, 20 years ago, the Queen saw they were going to tear down this historic old building, and they were going to build some sort of fancy turd in its place, and the Queen took out her handkerchief, and then she flopped it on top of that, and she raised her nose and walked. I know she, you know, she um, was disgusted by the fact that they were going to just sweep all, you know, English history underneath the rug. Um, the Japanese don't do that. Americans, uh, we're stupid, and we believe in... You see all these home renovation shows? It's so neat. Some people, a very, very few people... Um, we'll actually see the beauty in, like, old floors that are, like, teak. There are people like, oh, no, it's got holes in it and it's scratched. It's like, no, you could sand that and it's beautiful. It's got, everybody, Americans, we want to tear all that. It's like, that's old crap. We're going to tear it all down and put up new shit. Plastic crap made in China. And the English are very guilty of that. Um, the Japanese are not. Um, there is something that you won't find on the specification sheet. It is the ineffable. Why do these Japanese people who built these modern cameras and these lenses that are super fast auto, why are they using those old freaky lenses? 
You know, is it just like nostalgia? Is like, I remember the day they made this lens, I like using it. No, it's not for a nostalgia reason. It is a certain philosophy to know that ultimately photography is, unless you're talking about pure technical photography, like architectural real estate, or uh, just flat out uh, pure technical work, like uh, for crime scene stuff and stuff like that. I mean, photography is an art form. Okay, and if you have these uh, needle lenses that produce images that no modern lens can, then using that old lens on a modern camera is 200% valid. Yes, I said 200% valid. There is the ineffable, the je ne sais quoi, that will never show up on any specification sheet. And a lot of the people that dominate photography these days, they are blind, stupid, deaf, and dumb to this fact. They don't get it. They don't get it. They are clueless morons. And this pendulum is swung so far in that direction that it is starting to swing back. I can see it swinging back. The revolution has started, and I don't mean because of me. I mean, people are waking up. People are waking up. When I show them these old lenses, like, oh my God, where do I get that? You know, it's like, you can't get this anymore. What do you mean? That's awesome. How come nobody makes a lens like that anymore? It's cause, because people got stupid. They thought that everything was about resolution and uh, lack of chromatic aberration and vignetting. And that is bullshit. Okay? If that is true, then those $100 million impressionistic paintings hanging in the Smithsonian and the finest galleries in the world, all of those paintings themselves must also be bullshit. Because those things are like someone went like this and painted. It's Impressionism. Salvador Dali, the Impressionists, all these non-literal paintings, these uh, non-existentially uh, representative uh, forms of expressions, which are the logos. Okay, they are the art. The logos is the art. Okay, it is not the artifice or the construct. And too much of modern photography is judged on the artifice, the construct, and not, you know, it's like the artifice and the art has died. It's like photographic art has died. You know, it's like the closest we come is like, I'm going to stick my camera in uh, monochrome mode and I'm going to shoot in monochrome. It's like, ooh, man, that's art. And it's like, no. It's kind of shitty, boring photography shot in monochrome. It's like, how do you make any boring picture look artsy? As you do is you crop in a lot, you increase the grain, and you convert it to black and white, and then someone goes, oh, that's art, dude. That's not art. We, we just, we're, we're addicted to the thinking that. It's like, oh, this picture sucks. Oh, I shot that on a Leica. I was bleeding at the time I took it. Oh, it's a masterpiece then. Oh, it was shot on a Leica and you like suffered for your art. Yeah. I'm, what I did is I cut my wrist and I smeared some blood over the, the front filter and I'm like, Bleh. it's like, why is that picture red? It sucks. Oh, well, I cut my wrist and I bled on the front of the filter and then I shot through my own blood. Oh my God, it's a masterpiece. How much, you know, that's, that's not art. It's not art. Well, it is in its own way. But, you know, sensationalism is not art in and of its own subjective accord, obviously so. I've already actually defined, according to the ancient masters, what art is. It is uh, impulsion, repulsion, or it is a cessation of motion. There are only two, three things that actually define art. Acceleration force in motion, repulsion, or cessation of already existent force in motion or acceleration. In other words, it actually is a retardation. That's actually the word. I'm not talking about retard. It's actually called retardation of, uh, of uh, impellation of the person's being. In other words, they walk past. They see something so stark and they go, ah, and they stop. So there's only those three things that actually define art. And within those three things, we have the artifice, and then we have the art, and the combination. That, that's a matter for another discussion. We need to ask yourself, why the Japanese, you know, cherish these old lenses, and why they're always posted? Like, why are there all these pictures from these old lenses only from, like, Japanese and Taiwanese people, and Koreans, too? You know, part of it is their spirituality and their culture, and how they're taught to actually uh, see things in their perfection. 
You know, it's kind of like the most beautiful supermodels always have like these hideous mole on their face. And it, the same thing is true of lens design. You have in the past 20 years a bunch of assholes that have like seen supermodel lenses that with like a gigantic mole on the face. And he's like, no, 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 it's no good. No, 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 no. We can make a better lens, you know. And then they bleach it, and it and it looks like a robot, and it it just makes robot images. Beep 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 beep. It has no soul. There is only artifice there, cookie cutter. And that revolution is starting. That revolution in photography is starting. The shit has gone too far. Let me repeat that again. The measure baiting, the bleaching, the whitewashing of the photographic art, that shit has gone too far. It's gone way too damn far. There is nothing invalid in a grainy picture or a blurry picture or a picture with vignetting or a picture that isn't perfectly sharp. It is art. Okay, within it, it either drives force in motion or acceleration or a retardation of existent motion and that is the art okay that is expressed in the existential artifice of the art and these measure baiters they will lose control just like everything comes to a point and then it snaps and then it goes the other direction everything in the world works like this okay if these people think that uh, you know these special old lenses that have beautiful bokeh, some soap bubble bokeh, I mean they, they they're not that sharp. Some of them are not that damn sharp. I don't like them that sharp. It's like yeah, but the images are beautiful. Every time I show somebody an image that people have taken with this uh, this lens uh, that's you know properly taken, they're just like, huh. you know, where could I buy that? And I go, you can't buy it. And then they go, why? And then I tell them why is because photography got overrun by a bunch of intellectual communist measure baiters. That ought to be a word. Communist measure baiters. The pendulum has swung too far in their favor and the bullshit will stop, the bullshit has to stop, and the bullshit is already starting to stop. Fini.